More of the Lockridge Report, Sirius XM 106. If you have a hard time getting through, Richie's keeping up with baseball. What's going on in baseball, Richie? It's your favorite time of the year. It's baseball season. Don't blame me. First of all, the lines are full, okay? So I haven't missed one call. No, and, and I'll let everybody in on it during the break. Goes, no, I know why you're screwing up on the phones. I'm like, what are you nuts? I, I've been doing my <laughs> duties. <laughs> I could do but two you- things at once, watch the ball game and... Uh, and do your show, Dale. Yeah, yeah, but you screened one caller as Hank Aaron and the other as Pete Rose. I listen, it's not going to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. But you're right. It's Christmas Day for me. It's opening day. It's actually the third opening day because they, they they did open. They they had a couple of regular season games about a week ago in Japan. They opened up the regular season. Then they went back to spring training for a whoa, week. Whoa, 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 wait a they, they open up the American pastime in Japan? You know, I, I know you don't watch a lot of baseball or follow, follow a lot of baseball, but you would be surprised, um, Evan. Uh, Japan has a, a long tradition of, uh, of American-style baseball. That it, I it said, goes, it goes back to like the world, back to about World War II or there, uh, just a little bit after that. So they and they got a really competitive league, but but it was the American teams and 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 Major League Baseball has done this before, where they've opened up in different countries. They did they did it one year in uh, in Mexico, um, I think just Mexico and, uh, and and Japan. Now that I'm thinking about it, but anyway, but two weeks ago the uh, the Mariners and the Athletics opened up a two game series, regular season games, not exhibition in uh, in Tokyo, and yesterday there was one game. Only scheduled, so they were kind of calling that opening day. And today's a today's a full uh, a full day of baseball today for the third opening day. Well, now I had heard one of the reasons that baseball became so big in Japan after World War II was because it was a way one way the Japanese could still hurl, hurl a club at Americans and not get in trouble at it. Really? So you've been re- reading Wikipedia, haven't yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the really great stuff is on Wikipedia. A- actually, you're kind of close on that because I think during, really. <laughs> well, all right. Well, uh, close is, is relative statement, but I think it did it did have something to do with the. Um, uh, with the Americans over there after the war, once mm. the war got settled down, you know there were still a lot of Americans over there. You know during during the transition between the old emperor and uh, and whatever the new government was thereafter, and I think a lot of them were playing baseball, and the tradition just kind of started there. Interesting. So third opening day, and have, uh, you, have you laid out your prediction now for the World Series? Yes. Uh, yeah. You want? I'll give you. I'll give you oh, my it's prediction. A drum roll. Could you remember how grossly wrong I was? I was last year. Yes. Who <laughs> is it going to be? Uh, it's going to be the Detroit Tigers. They're going to be the 2012 World Series champions. They'll beat the Philadelphia Phillies. Those are going to be your two pennant winners this year. But now you told me an interesting bit of trivia that has nothing that well about baseball, but had to do with basketball. Yeah, and and if you're a New York Yankees fan, like you know I am, I'm a huge Yankee fan. It's my whole life. I blood, blood sweat, and tears with the New York Yankees. But if you're a, if you're a Yankees fan and you're a college basketball fan, here's what you want to pay attention to. On Monday, Kentucky, the University of Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Won a national champion. Won the national championship. Right. All right. How's that? How's that? You know, relate to the Yankees? I will tell you, Evan Lockridge, how that relates to the Yankees. Tell me, Richio. Every time Kentucky, the University of Kentucky, has won the national championship since 1949, Evan, the Yankees have gone on later that year to win a world championship as well. Every year since every the late year, 40s. every year since 1949. The last time Kentucky won the uh, national championship was 1998. And guess who won the World Series in 1998, Evan? The Yankees. The New York Yankees. That's right. They beat the um, uh, 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 the Padres in 98. Uh, that is one of pro- the more strange bits of sports trivia I think I will probably it's ever It's bizarre because, I mean, that's a, that's a nice sample. I mean, it's not like, hey, over the past couple of years this has happened. Since 1949, Evan, every time Kentucky has won, so is the Yankees. Well, now I'm really going to be keeping an eye on the Yankees to see how they do this year. This is Kentucky this is did. one prediction. I hope I'm wrong because I'm really you know I'm not I'm not I'm 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 not I'm not rooting against the Yankees obviously, but I'm not picking the Yankees to win a World Series. But I God, I hope I'm wrong. We'll find out. It'll be an interesting season to watch. And of course, also have to take in the variable that since Kentucky won the men's basketball tournament, they almost attempted to burn down half the campus there, so oh, that I, might negate the whole the whole streak. You know, and I don't want to veer too far off the topic here, Evan. You know, we don't like to do that here. God forbid. <laughs> No, God knows. We never do that. <laughs> God forbid we ever get sidetracked. But, you know, people always talk about, you know, h- how much animals we are up here in New York. You know, we don't burn the town down when our teams win a championship. Never. I can't think of one instance where there's ever been acts of violence over uh, a-, a team winning a championship in the New York area. 
Uh, no, I can't either. But I could probably justify one against Justin Bieber. <laughs> well, yeah, I'd be all I'd be all for burning the Madison Square Garden down for that one. <laughs> Well, we will watch the baseball season. Of course, Richie will keep you updated throughout the season yes. right here just with the Lockridge Report. Absolutely. Sports and, and, and real quick, one more thing, just to let you know that I am really doing my job back here. and I'm, I'm, I, I do have the game on, but I am paying attention to the show. Just I have one quick question. Sure. What, what was the topic again today? Uh, something about trucking. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> I don't know. It's, I mean, it's never stopped us before. Right, Thank bye. you very much, Richie. Bicycle. Talk to you a little more, and uh, let's get back to more of your calls.